Hey there, this is Sebastian and you're listening to my very first hypnosis recording that I do myself and I have no scripts or anything else for this prepared so this is completely freestyle and improvised and I hope um, it will make a good session anyway so um, yeah but since English is not my mother language and since this is all improvised um, there might be a few um, bubbly <laughs> um, parts here and there so so the topic of Today's hypnosis shall be the feeling of loneliness and disconnectedness. And I just want to share some of my thoughts, maybe, at first, and then take you into hypnosis and give some po positive affirmations for you to change your reality. So, speaking of changing reality, Maybe it's good that I introduce myself a little bit and my philosophy and maybe to some extent some of my own core beliefs or belief systems. Um, so yeah, let's get started with a quick introduction. So, as I said, I am Sebastian. I live in Germany and um, I'm very much a free creative creator <laughs> in that sense. Um, so, and I like to trance myself. I like to listen to hypnosis, I like to listen to erotic hypnosis. Um, and I really enjoy the feeling of just letting go and let all the troubles of the day float away. So yeah, now I try to step a little bit on the other side and um, try to bring that feeling to other people. So speaking of my core beliefs, um, and what will be the style of this hypnosis and maybe other hypnosis files to follow, I don't know yet. I just want to try out and see how the resonance is and or maybe there will be some feedback. So yeah. Speaking of core beliefs, the style of this hypnosis and uh, will maybe the others will be very much focused around um, the core belief that imagination really creates reality. So I'm very much a fan of the works of Neville Goddard. Um, if you don't know him, I can highly recommend his work. Just look it up. And yeah, there have been some misconceptions of his work and the work was watered down uh, in the coming years with books like The Secret and Positive Thinking while um, those might help at some point, I don't know um, Very, there's a very uh, clear and strict distinction in Neville Goddard's work which is it's not about just positive thinking it's about feeling and imagining the reality wished as if fulfilled so you're not if you imagine that for example you want money and you're just focusing on the on the will of money i i, I want money i want money um what a lot of positive thinking um guides or books would tell you to do this is um, it's actually it's actually just manifesting the reality 
that you want money and why would you want money well because you don't have money so you're just um, focusing on the problem itself well in Neville Goddard um, Goddard's work we would focus on the reality as if fulfilled and not just think about it but really the, the core is the key is the emotion and the key is the feeling so you want to feel how it feels to have to have money already to really feel how your desire feels when when it's already fulfilled so that is uh, that will be one of the core um, elements in this hypnosis so in that sense I'm not just um, I'm not um, creating a hypnosis in a very scientific way but also a little bit in a magical way so yeah another core belief of mine or another philosophy that I really love is the philosophy of chaos magic and if you can call this a philosophy and the work of Austin Osman's power um, a great magician from uh, London in the 19th century and he created amazing artwork as well as uh, a great, amazing um, magical framework so to speak and um, he was one of the original creators of a method that is called sigil magic which is um, basically encapsulating a desire into a sigil form that you can impregnate your consciousness with your subconsciousness and bypass the conscious sensor and the sensor like for example, if you would want to have money, you would create a sigil um, out of the sentence It is my desire to have this amount of money. And then you would go ahead and create a sigil out of this. So, and then you would focus on the sigil in order to impregnate your subconsciousness with this sigillic form and the thing is that while focusing on the sigil the sigil is not uh, is not your your inner sensor cannot grasp the sigil like if you would imagine uh, sit there meditate and imagine in your mind like oh, I want to have let's say 100 euros, I want to have 100 euros um, then your mind could understand what's going on and, and the sensor could kick in and could say well you you will not have 100 euros um, this is stupid, uh, this magic never works why do you think you would get 100 euros um, out of nothing this is ridiculous, right? so the inner sensor would get active and that would prevent the wish from being fulfilled. So sigil magic is basically bypassing this wish. And this is also a, a magical practice that I'm very much a fan of. So maybe I will also incorporate this a little bit in the hypnosis work. Okay, so I hope that was enough a little bit for an introduction. And um, let's dive into the hypnosis now, the hypnosis part. So, why I told you all of this stuff about me, about magic, about sigil magic, I hope that you already have fallen into a focus and a focused state of mind. And I hope you're not watching other videos beside hearing this or playing computer games and if so I would ask you now 
to quit all other activities and really just focus on my voice and the hypnosis itself. So find a comfortable place, preferable to lie down. Some people like to trance while sitting. I myself very much like to just lay down and feel gravity having its way with my body. So go ahead, lie down, just relax. I very much like to go slow with hypnosis and I will not try to overload you with too much words since I'm a big believer in the negative space. That means the negative space that is between the words, the silence that lies between the sound. For all things need room to expand into. So just lay down and relax. Take some deep breaths. Feel your inner core and breathe into it just deeply, just easy. Lay down and relax and let my words guide you. Now Implying the meaning of let my words guide you, that would mean that you would have to trust me, right? And since this is my very first recording, and since you have no other way to know me than by what I am saying to you, I will give you my honest my very from the heart and core honest promise that I have no bad intentions for you. I will not manipulate you in a bad way. I will not harm you. And my intention at my very being is to provide something to you that you will benefit from, that your life and your being will benefit from. Even if at some point I would decide to step into erotic hypnosis, not in this recording, don't worry, but at some point maybe, since I myself enjoy it also, even if I would go that road, I would never do anything that is outside of mutual consent. So, take my word for it. I have my very best. I have the very best intentions at my heart for you. So, it's up to you now to really trust me with this hypnosis. I can't force you to trust me. And if I could, I wouldn't. I just ask you, if you don't trust me at this point, then please stop this file now and do something other with your time, something that is more productive to you. If you're still there after this point, I assume that I have your trust. So, I would ask you to trust my voice and just follow it down. Feel my voice, 
pulling you. Feel my voice pulling at your being. And just hold on to it. Just hold on to it and let it guide you. Breathe in and out and in and out. Just slowly feel how your body sinks into the surface you're lying on. Just let yourself go. Now I want you to focus on a very special thing, a pain like a sting, and it's the pain that you felt the last time when you felt lonely or disconnected. I want you not to look away but really look directly into this feeling. Feel it. Just feel it. The loneliness and the disconnectedness. And don't worry, since we will transform this feeling. But in order to transform it, you first have to recognize it and look into it. You have decided to trust my voice. So go ahead now. Think about the last time you felt lonely. If this makes you sad, it's okay. There is nothing you have to hide here. There is nothing you have to suppress here. It might feel like a pain you don't want to look at. But I promise you, it will be benefiting for you to do it. So, I will now count down from 10 to 1. And within every number that I'm counting, you're focusing on this pain of feeling lonely and disconnected, not having a connection to other people or to the people you would like to have a connection to. And while I'm counting down, I will ask you to pour this feeling as if it were liquid into a bottle in your mind. Imagine a bottle and imagine the feeling dropping into this bottle. So, I will start counting down now. Take a deep breath and don't hide the feeling. The more and the intense you feel it, the more you will be able to pour into this bottle and to gather it. Ten. Feel a feeling of feeling lonely. Feel the feeling of others, and they are not lonely. They are connected to each other, and they are happy. And pour this feeling into the bottle. Nine. Again, another drop. It may hurt. It may be like a deep sadness. Eight. And it's dripping. It's 
dripping into this bottle. Seven. Just relax. Relax into this feeling. And know that it's okay to feel this way. Six. Just hold it. Endure it. You can stand it. Fill your vessel, fill your bottle with this feeling. Six. Fill it. Again. Five. The bottle is half full. And the feeling is quite intense. But it's okay. Four, the bottle is filling, filling up with the feeling of loneliness and isolation. Three, and it gets fuller and fuller. It's more than half full now. Two, you can see that the vessel, the bottle, is almost full. Two. You feel lighter. You feel lighter as the feeling of isolation and loneliness pours into the bottle. One. There's only a little bit of air left. Only a little bit. Just fill it in. The last drops of loneliness and isolation one and you're done you've completely filled the bottle now I want you to hold this bottle just in your mind not in your hands just imagine it in your mind a full bottle and just take a rest Take a rest from this feeling. Take a rest from the isolation and just feel yourself connected. Now, just take this bottle and hold it in your hands. What you see here is not a bad thing. This is not something that is wrong or something that's wrong with you and special. No. Know that this bottle is something that is totally fine to be. And it's showing you where your pain is and it shows you where you want to change your reality so now let's transform it and step into the reality that you really desire I want you to imagine what it would feel to pour this bottle into a stream, into a river, into a great flowing mass of water. And not just any water, a special water, the flow of life, the water of time, a stream running down a stream and that all of us are encompassed a stream in which we are all one and take this bottle and just pour it into the river what would it feel like 
not have this feeling anymore, what would it feel like to have this absence of the feeling of loneliness? Now that you have encapsulated it, go ahead. Imagine yourself walking down to a river. It's your personal river. How is the surrounding looking? Is it a forest? Is it a desert? Are there trees? Is there moss below your feet? Try to imagine the scene. Try to imagine yourself walking downwards to a river. Follow my voice down to the river. To your personal flow of life. Now. Walk down to the water. Dip your feet into the water and feel it. Imagine the streams murmur. Imagine the bubbling sounds of the water running between stones. Imagine the natural patterns that the water creates. See the light, how it is reflected on the surface. And just be there. Now take your bottle with the feeling of loneliness and isolation. And see that the color has changed. It's not some neutral liquid anymore. It turned golden with a light golden shimmer. The same as the shimmer of the gold in the river. And realize that the feeling inside the bottle of loneliness and isolation, that this liquid is actually the same liquid that is running in the stream freely, joyfully, connected, yet separated, like droplets that jump in the air, that jump from stone to stone, that dance together, that laugh together, that have fun together, and then diving into the oneness of the stream again. Now, imagine yourself, take this bottle into your hand, and slowly, slowly pour the water into the river again. And while doing this, you realize that the energy inside this bottle is the same as the one in the river. And the feeling of isolation only just comes from the separation of being water in a vessel and not being water in the stream. Now, go ahead and pour the feeling into the stream again. The stream of oneness. The stream that we are all connected to. The big stream of life 
while doing so, feel yourself getting more connected to this river. Feel a tingle inside your feet, rising upwards while you pour the liquid of isolation and loneliness back to where it belongs, into the great river and the stream we are all connected to. Just let it return to its origin. And not a still origin, but a moving one, a joyful one, a happy one. And when the bottle is empty, when the last drop of this liquid has returned to its stream, just let my voice as the first connection point to another being guide you. Trust me and feel connected with me. We are actually one. We are both droplets of the same river. And I want to help you. I just want to show you how you actually can feel connected and joyful and in union with others again. So trust me when I ask you to imagine images of yourself. I want you now to pick anything, anything, any situation that you would like to experience in the near future. Maybe you would like to feel used or needed by someone. You would like to feel like you have a purpose and that somebody needs you and really asks you to help them. Pick someone from your near or far social circle. A person you know person you would like to feel connected to and imagine him or her stepping in front of you now. Try to imagine his or her voice. Try to imagine his or him, him, him or her to call your name and ask you for help and feel the joy that you feel in this moment when they ask you to help them. Someone needs you. Someone really needs you. And this can be the start of a wonderful relationship, of connection and mutual benefit. Now, I want to ask you to imagine another scene. Imagine to step into a grocery store. You need to buy stuff. Maybe there's a certain store where you will always go in, where you always do your shopping. 
Imagine yourself walking into the store. Imagine yourself feeling connected to this all-connecting river, the flow of life, the flow itself. And feel yourself connected while doing the typical stuff you buy. Imagine yourself Go to those places inside the store where you would go to buy the stuff that you usually buy. But this time, it is different. You see the people around you. Not a lot of them. But there's someone staying there and just smiling at you. Not too obviously, not too boldly, but just a simple smile. And feel the joy, this short moment of joy. Someone was happy to see you. A stranger, a complete stranger, was just happy to see you. Let this fact sink into your subconsciousness. Just think about some random person being happy to see another person. You. And now Imagine yourself walking through the same store and go to the payment. And now you're just filled with this happy feeling of joy to have met another pe a person. Smile. And you carry the smile with you. And now imagine the cashier sitting there and scanning your food or stuff that you bought. Imagine a girl, a young woman sitting there. Maybe She's not your type. Maybe she is somewhat dim. Maybe she looks a little bit stressed. And imagine yourself how it would feel to just gift her with the same feeling that you just experienced when a total stranger smiled when seeing your face. Imagine yourself looking into this young woman's face and just naturally filled with the joy of the moment smiling at her. And for a short moment, you see her looking into your eyes and just stopping with the motion that she's usually doing. And you see her surprised, surprised that someone is smiling at her. Not in a false, not in an artificial way, 
but someone honestly just smiling at her. You don't even know the reason why you smile. It's just coming naturally. And imagine her looking surprised at your smile. So surprised that it actually kicks her out of her routine for a few seconds. And she repeats the smile. She's not knowing what's going on. Neither do you. You're just smiling at each other. And you feel happy that you could transform her mood that quickly. This is not the beginning of a great love story or some other relationship. So she's continuing her work, smiling into herself, and you are continuing packing your groceries. But walking outside the store, walking outside, the feeling of happiness and connection to those two people inside the grocery store just lingers with you and it lingers the whole day. And now I want you to imagine another scene like this. A scene that you totally pick by yourself that you totally direct by yourself. Just picture a scene of your everyday life. Just picture a moment where you will have contact with other people and where other people will be just happy without any reason to see your face and to have your attention for a short period of time. Just pick any situation. Maybe it's a school. Maybe it's another so shop. Maybe it's sitting in the bus while driving to work. Just imagine any situation. Try to pick. Try to pick a situation and be constant with it. Focus on that in situation. And focus on the feeling of happiness that you experience. Focus on the feeling of happiness that the other person experiences. Imagine someone talking to you and just saying something kind to you. Something that really makes your heart shine. Just feel happy about this small little situation. And just realize that you are connected. that you are always connected to the great stream of life. Even in situations where you are totally alone, where there's no one around you, you still are connected. 
And if at any point you feel the need again to reconnect you to this feeling, go ahead and imagine yourself in a situation where someone reaches out to you, where you make eye contact with someone and send him or her a smile and receiving one back, an honest smile, not an artificial one, not a false one, but an honest smile. Since we all feel from time to time like this liquid in the bottle that is connected, disconnected to its surroundings. But realize without the confining borders of the bottle we are all the same and we are all connected. Now, I hope that at least you feel a little connection to me at this point. And I really hope that this little hypnosis file could help you and ease your feelings. Now, on the count of ten, I will end this file and I will end the hypnosis. I would be very happy if you would reach out to me, maybe in a comment, or maybe just hit me a DM or whatever. Feel free to make a connection and a contact. I wish you all the best. And I will start now counting you upwards. Just relax the last seconds. Breathe in deeply and out. Just feel yourself deeply relaxed. Nine. Feel yourself connected with me, with the people around you. Eight. Really focus on this feeling. Seven. Remember the stream, the big stream of life. Six. You're always connected to the stream. Five. There is really nothing that can change your being and your being at the very core is the same and of the same quality as the water in the stream of life. Five. If at any point you feel lonely again. Four. Just feel yourself diving into the river of oneness with everyone around you. And everything. Three. Focus on the small connections that you experience every day. Three. And don't think that the feeling of loneliness is something bad or something that should not be there. 
too. We all experience this from time to time. And it's okay, since we are all sometimes in the bottle. One. But know that in the end, we will all return to us again into the great stream. I wish you all the best.